Hi, I'm Hillary Huddleston. I'm a student at Lincoln Trail College in the nursing program, and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to give a bolus feeding through an NG tube. So the first thing we would do would be to check placement of the tube. Megan showed that in her previous video on irrigating an NG tube, so I will be skipping that step today, but you would do that first. Then I would want to check the residual contents of the stomach. If the contents were more than 100 milliliters, then you would have to pause the feeding and try an hour later. But if it's less than that, then you can go ahead with the feeding. So in this case, we're gonna say the contents are 30 milliliters, so we can continue with the feeding. We're going to put those back into the stomach before we start. We're going to remove the tube, keep it kinked. Remove the plunger from the tube and hook it back up. This formula has already been checked for compatibility with the patient's meds. We'll start with putting in some 30 milliliters of water to flush the tube. And then we would slowly work by putting the formula through the tube as well. And this whole process would take about five or 10 minutes. And we'll say that's all the way through. Afterwards, we would flush the tube with another 30 milliliters of water. And then we're going to plug the tube and provide oral care to the client, make sure they're in a comfortable position. They would need to remain upright um, for at least 30 to 60 minutes after their feeding to prevent any aspiration and then document um, all the important parts of the procedure.